Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles. And salutation, brother, through this thing sincerely in truth and with charity. Um, and I'm not right to it, man. Because uh, it's actually a filthy act to go against uh, your rulers. Okay, or your once rulers. Basically, the man that uh, woke you up to the truth. The spiritual parents. All right, um, your ruler at that moment, your teacher, hell, your king. All right, it's a filthy uh, act to go against them. All right, and uh, it, it's, it's technically it's a term. We're gonna just let it go. Get First Kings sixteen. Uh, this is uh, First Kings chapter sixteen. It starts off saying, "Then the word of Yahweh came to Jehu." And the son of Hanani, Hanani against Baasha, saying, "For for as much as I exalted thee out of the dust and made thee prince over my people Israel, and thou hast walked in the way of Jeroboam, and has made my people Israel to sin, to provoke me to to anger with their sins." Verse three, behold. I will take away the prosperity of Baasha and the pros and the posterity of his house, and will make thy house like the house of Jeroboam and the son of Nebat. Him him that dieth of Baasha in the in the city shall the dogs eat, and him that dieth in like, and him that dieth of his of his in the fields shall the fowls of the air eat. So, so basically, Bashar is a wicked king right here, and the Lord is putting his judgment on him. Him and his line, and his house, his family, was going to be killed off, which would include his children, because it's a wicked seed. Go ahead. It says, Now for the rest of the acts of Baasha, and what he did, and his might, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Baasha slept with his, with his fathers, and was buried in in Tizra, Tizra, and Allah his son reigned in his stead. And also by the hand of the prophet Jehu, and the son of Hanani, Hanani, came came the word of Yahweh against Baasha, and against his house, even for even for all the evil that he did in the sight. Of Yahweh and provoking him to anger with the work of his hand and being like the house of Jeroboam and, and because he killed him. And it says, verse 8, and because he killed him. All right, that, that was the northern kingdom had the, the spirit on the man. The man, the uh, right hand man, is killing off uh, uh, men that they were under. All right. Um, it says, um, back in First Kings, it says, um, it's like, it says, in the twentieth and in the twentieth and sixth year of Asa, king of Judah, began, began Elah, the, Elah, the son of Baasha, to reign over Israel, and in Tirza two years, and his servant Zimri, captain, captain. Of all his chariots cons conspired against him, and he was in Tarza drinking himself drunk in the house of Arza, steward of his house in Tarza. It says, And Zimri went in and smote him and killed him. In the twenty in the twenty and seventh year of of Asa, king of Judah, and reigned in it, and reigned in his stead. And it came to pass, when he began to reign, as soon as he sat on his throne, that he slew all the house of Baasha. He left him not one that that pisseth against a wall, and mm -hmm. neither of neither of his kinsfolk nor of his friends. Right now, the Lord put judgment on Baasha in his house. And he executed those judgments by this man right here, Zimri. All right?
right? Because this is a, a wicked king that had been taken out, right? So he killed him, and he killed his people. Well, he's like, he didn't kill um, Basha, he died on his own. But he killed his son. All right, the king, the king at that time, which was this man's ruler. All right, go ahead. This is uh, verse 12. Thus did Zimri destroy all the house of Baasha, according to the word of Yahweh, which he spake against Baasha by Je Jehu the prophet. For all the sins of Baasha and the sins of, of Allah, his son, by which they sinned, and by which they made Israel to sin, in provoking Yahweh, the power of Israel, to anger with their vanities. Now the rest of the acts of Allah, Elah, and all that he did. What verse are you right now? 14. Okay, go ahead. It says, um... I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna read. It. it says, "Now the rest of the acts of Elah and all that he did are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel?" Verse fifteen it says, "In the twenty and seventh year of Asa king of Judah, did Zimri reign seven days in in Tarza, and the people were encamped against Gebe." Uh, Gebethan, Gebethan, which belonged to the Philistines. And the people that were encamped heard say, Zimra hath conspired and hath also slain the king. Wherefore all Israel made Omri the king, the captain, so like it, of the host, king, of it, king over Israel that day in the camp. Right. So even more wicked men even knew that, that, that what Zimri did was wrong. And it wasn't honor, man. Because he conspired to take down a man that he was directly under and place himself in his seat. Alright? This is what he came, this is what he came up with in his mind, man, and did. And that's the same thing that was going on today with, with, with certain niggas that was once among the fold, man. And then left out or got kicked out or whatever. And uh, now teach against the apostles. Scoff against the apostles and, and say that they the, they the man. They, they who supposed to be with, man. This is the same filthy act you guys are doing, man. Alright, conspiring to take down the king and set themselves up in that seat, man. So even if, for the record, even if GMS was wrong, which we got the truth, man, but let's say GMS was wrong. Guess what? You guys, about how you're going about doing it, are doing out of order. So you, you yourselves will still be considered uh, one, as one who commits uh, the same filthy act as Henry did, man. Which their name of the act is treason. Mm -hmm. Alright? We got it. we got the examples you know, got the examples to back you up to prove it. When you know, get done with that. Ka -ka. Go ahead. It says uh, verse seventeen. This is an Omri went up from Gibbethon and all Israel with him, and they besieged Tarza. And it came to pass when Z Zimri saw that the city was taken, that he went into the palace of the king's house and burnt the king's house over him with fire and died. For his sins which he sinned in doing evil in the sight of Yahweh and walking in the way of Jeroboam and his sin which he did to make Israel to sin. Now the, now the rest of, of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrought are, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did, man. Treason, man. Mm -hmm. All right. For, to just take down the man that's, that's over you, that, you're, that you were under his rulership at once, man, is a filthy fucking act, man. It shows no loyalty. Mm -hmm. yep. It shows no fucking loyalty. How you, then how you going to be loyal to the Lord, man? <laughs> yeah. And, and it's perfect, you know? How does how the spirit just roll out? Because how you gonna be loyal to the Lord? You know, because King David, you know, a man after the Most High's own heart, right? He was loyal to the Most High. Being loyal to the Most High, he was loyal to who the Most High set up. Even if, like the brother said, even if uh, uh, the apostles, the elders were going off, which they're not, but even if, you should still. <laughs> I get the example. This is um, 1 
1 Samuel 24. Yeah, that's the spirit. And. How does my nose ring for you? Um, read out 1 Samuel 24 and started. Um, started 4. This is First Samuel 24. He said 12 or 4? Uh, verse 4. Kind of slight. Uh, it's First Samuel 24, verse 4. And the men of David said unto him, Behold the day of which Yahweh said unto thee, Behold, I will deliver thy enemy into thy hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good unto thee. Then David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privily. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass afterward that the Pretty that much. Uh, it said David, then David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privily. You know, King David could have killed Saul right then and there. He cut off a piece of his robe. If he cut off a piece of his, a piece of his robe, he could have stabbed him in his heart, in his head, cut his throat. You know? Go ahead, bro. Okay. It says, um, And it came to pass afterward that David's heart smote him. David's heart smote him, him, man. David's heart smote him. You know? He was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? Go ahead, bro. Because he had cut off Saul's skirt. Just because he cut off his skirt, man. Go ahead, bro. And he said unto unto his men, Yahweh forbid that I should do this thing unto my master, Yahweh the Yahweh's anointed. The Most High's anointed, because that's who the Most High chose. So David stayed loyal to the Most High, even <laughs> even this guy that was trying to kill him, man, that was trying to do him harm. Hey, what shows you that the Spirit on these niggas, man? Because he said unto his men, the Lord forbid that I should do this thing. That means the spirit of the Lord was on him that he, that he should do that. This is the right and proper judgment to execute, man. Yeah. It was not to kill him. Because th this, 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 he was anointed by the Lord. Or he brought King David in. Or he put him under his wing. Was his, was his master. Hell, was his father. Because he was under him. And technically, he was his, his father-in-law anyway. All right? Just the same now, man. Hey, the, the, the apostles, the, hey, directly, uh, brothers in your camps, like this camp specifically, the brother uh, with these guys, brother Uriah, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the elders, the apostles, all right? And these men don't, don't, don't have no loyalty, man. They just throw these men under the bus, reveal certain things, secrets that was given to them about men, the men and their uh, and, and and personal lives with their woman. All type of bugged out shit, man. All right, now this is not necessarily a personal thing, but this is a general topic to the people that was once among us. That's just an example, man. Mm -hmm. All right, King David didn't even want to touch and cut off the skirt. But these niggas don't have a problem with, with just completely slandering and scoffing, just calling them old niggas. All type of madness, man. When these the men that touch the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right? Gave you all this knowledge, man, because you still, these people, you were just still them teaching about 90, 95% of the same things we teach. But but these are men you want to scoff at and you want to fucking just, just kill. I can't wait to get my hands on you or you gonna, I kill you, nigga. That's not the right spirit to fucking be in, man. To, um, to men that were your masters, especially. And the apostles, they showed that same example. So they held the man. That's, uh, he, two of them, technically, under comfort. And they, they say, yeah, he's not his right man. And they still, to this day, well, he'll get right. That's the hope they have for them, because he had all this knowledge. Because he, was, at that time, was counted as the Lord's anointing. Just like King Saul was, but who ended up going off. And being a subordinate, you know, being under King Saul, King David honored that man. He kept his loyalty. He dared not commit that treason because the spirit of the Lord forbade him to. Which shows these niggas don't got the spirit on them. 
Go ahead. And so I'm going to read, uh, read verse 6. It says, And he said unto his men, Yahweh forbid that I should do this thing unto my masters, Yahweh's anointed, to stretch forth my hand against him, saying he is the anointed of Yahweh. So David stayed his servants with these words, and suffered them not to rise against Saul. But Saul, Saul rose up out of the cave and went on his way. David also arose afterward and went out of the cave and cried after Saul, saying, uh, saying uh, My power, little king. And when Saul, Saul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth, and bowed himself. And David said to Saul, Wherefore hearest that thou man's word, saying, Behold, David, seek thy hurt, seeketh thy hurt? Behold, this day thy eyes have seen how how that Yahweh had delivered thee to today into my hand in the cave. And some and some bade me kill thee, but my eyes spared thee. And I said, I will not put forth my hand against my power, for he is Yahweh's anointed. Exactly. He said, I will not put forth my hand against. Read that part again. It says, it was on First Samuel chapter 24, verse uh, 10. It said, um, Behold. Not just the last part you had said. Okay, it's like, it says, I will not put forth my hand. This is verse 10. It says, I will not put forth my hand against my power, for he is Yahweh's anointed. Oh, my Lord, this is talking about Saul. So I will not uh, put forth my hand against my Lord, Lord, this Lord case, for he is Yahweh, Yahweh's anointed, you know. So he didn't touch, uh, he, he cut it, he, he felt cut, even cutting his skirt, man. Okay. But jump down, brother, to, um, Jump down <coughs> to nineteen. Okay. This is first Samuel chapter twenty four uh, nineteen it says Colossians sixteen. Sixteen. It says And it came to pass when David had made an end of speaking these words mm -hmm. unto Saul. This King David was basically telling him he cut his robe and that, you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers talking about uh you know, saying that King David was trying to kill him. He, he showed, like, I could have killed, I cut your robe, I could have killed you, I'm not trying to kill you, you know? Who am I to come come against you, Start you know? Verse 12. You want, okay, uh, sorry, 12. All right, come. It says, um, this verse 12 says, Yahweh judge between me and thee, and Yahweh avenge me of thee, but my hand shall not be upon thee. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, if you, you got faith in God, if you feel that, that you're really wrong, that things are wrong, guess what? You just keep pushing the water, keep doing what you got to do. You felt that the doctrine they was teaching was off? Just preach the truth. Mm -hmm. The apostles don't, don't scoff against their they, they elders, you know? Their elders. The, the two that's, that's not in the right state of mind right now. Okay, uh, Elder uh, Arya, I forget the second one. Right, they, they, uh, but they both are the comfy man. But in the day, they don't scoff him. They make it clear that he ain't the comforter. They teach the truth. It's that simple. And the Lord has to live, man. If he gets right, then so be it. All right, but the Lord will handle it. All right, that's 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 part of taking a humble and equal road. What do y'all should I do, man? He let he let the he let he humbled himself into death, man. He was innocent, completely innocent. He was fucking fully wronged. He took it. When you felt like you really was wrong with this stuff, man, you sometimes gotta take shit. Especially from those who are your masters. And these was people under Yahweh Shai. But especially from those who were once your masters, man. 
who you consider your master. They're still your masters, whether you accept it or not. Just being fucking rebellious. Mm -hmm. All right. And whether you want to accept it, we are that government, man. And the, the apostles, starting with the old apostles, man, they're the top of that government. All right. And the Yahweh Shai, who was under Yahweh. Go ahead. It says, um, verse thirteen. As as saith the proverb of the ancients, wickedness proceeded from the wicked. But my hand shall not be upon thee. Mm -hmm. After whom is the wickedness it? proceeded from the wicked? But my hand shall be uh, not upon thee. All right. You know. So we ain't getting carnal with you guys, man. Continue to scoff and do your thing, and get and, 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 and try to get carnal with us. You know, which shows you niggas ain't got the truth. Right. This a man at the uh, the most high's heart, man. Alright, bro. Come on. Uh, it says, After whom is the king of, of Israel come out? After whom does thou pursue? After a dead dog, after a flea. Right. So I'm like, I'm, I'm insignificant, man. Who the fuck am I? Alright. It says, um, verse 15, Yahweh be therefore be judge and judge between me and thee and see and plead my cause, and deliver me out of, out of thine hand. Right. And it, and it came to pass, when David had made an end of speaking these words unto Saul, that Saul said, Is this thy voice, my son David? And Saul lifted up his head and wept. And he said to David, Thou art my righteous, thou, thou art more righteous than I. Mm -hmm. For thou hast rewarded me good, Whereas, whereas I have rewarded the deed evil. Right, because he didn't kill him. You know? Verse 18. Because he didn't rebel against y'all by shot y'all was shot. Okay. It says, and thou hast sh show, show and, 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 <laughs> and he was wicked, man. So just imagine if you ain't got nothing... On them saber lives, man. Go ahead, man. It says, verse 18, And thou hast showed this day how that thou hast de dealt with, it's like, this day how that thou hast dealt well with me, for as much as when Yahweh had delivered me into thy hand, thou killedest me not. For if a man find his enemy, will he let him go well away? Wherefore, Yahweh will reward thee good for that thou hast done unto me this day. Mm -hmm. And now, behold, I know well that thou shalt surely be, be king, and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in thy hand. Right, so it's Saul saying, saying that. Telling David, I know you're going to be king. I know you for this going to be established in, in your hand. Go ahead. Swear now, therefore, unto me by the by Yahweh, that that thou will not cut off my seed after after me, and that thou will not destroy my name out of my father's house. Right, and that and that and that's, <laughs> Keep going. This is. And David swore, swore unto Saul, and Saul went home. But David and his men get them up unto the hold. Right. You know, and, and that's crazy because that's through the spirit. Because David and uh, Jonathan, you know, made a pact already, man. You know, Jonathan was uh, King David's uh, number one man, you know. And he took in his son. But that, you know, showed, showed you that um, part of wisdom is Ecclesiastes, the uh, 10th chapter and the 4th verse. It says, if the spirit of the ruler <laughs> rise up, I you to the grammar. It says, if the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place for yielding pacified great offenses. You know, and that's what King David did, man. 
You don't just fucking rise up against your ruler, man. Mm-hmm. You take the fucking low. It, it, it's that simple, man. There's a such thing as loyalty. All right, especially man, man, especially man that gave you the name of the Lord. That they, they gave you all this this goodness, man. How could you dare reward them evil for good? Mm-hmm. How could you dare reward reward these men evil for good? Alright, hey, you was once a nigga in the fucking world, man. Alright? And these are the men that brought you out of that. And they and they and whose faith follows, they still teach it. At that, for that matter. They still teach it and endure. And fuck chopping off the skirt, man, of the road, man. Y'all, y'all damn near at, at, the, at, the, at these men's throats. I ain't did this loyal as fuck, just, just com- completely. Shit, we gonna go into loyalty, obedience, and treason, but they, they completely on the treason part, man. That's just what the fuck it is. Forget it, having some loyalty. Or obedience. Shit. Complete, uh, complete treason. You, uh, we can get second, you get, uh, you got another threesome? No. We can get, uh, we can get, uh, Second sound. Two. Second sound. Uh, sure. Oh, uh, hold on. Get the thing. Get the uh, for first sound after fourteen. First sound after three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can get the other. Hold on one second. Just what we're about to go into. Uh, this is uh first Samuel fourteen fifty. Yeah, and the name of Saul's wife was Ahinoam, the daughter of Ahimaaz, and the name of the captain of his host was Abner, the son of Ner, Saul's uncle. All right, and I brought that up because that's who we're about to go. Who we're going to speak on here is Abner. All right, because you're going to go into loyalty, which uh, at the end of the day, his loyalty and what he did, you know, how he, and everything he did, he still was counted as innocent. Okay. Because he, but he stayed loyal to his master. He stayed loyal to his master, man. Um, Kyle, you go ahead now. Uh, six Samuels? Mm-hmm. Six Samuels. Okay. It's Six Samuels chapter 2. And it says, And it came to pass after this that David inquired of Yahweh, of Yahweh saying, Shall I go up into any of the cities of Judah? And the and Yahweh said unto him, Go up. And David said, Whether shall I go? Whether shall I go up? And he said unto him, and he said unto Hebron. So David went up thither, and his two wives also. I I didn't know him, the Jez, Jezreelites. And Abigail, Nabal's wife, the the Carmelite, and his men were slack. Right, right. which Nabal was another another uh, another man that rewarded evil for somebody's good. Yeah, and he died. Yeah. Yeah. It says, and his men that were that were with him, did they would bring up every man with his household, and they dwelt in the cities of. Of Hebron, and the men of Judah came, and there, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah, and they told David, saying that the men of Jabesh Gilead were they that buried Saul, and David sent messengers unto to the men of Jabesh Gilead. And said unto them, Blessed be ye of, y- of Yahweh, that ye have showed, showed this kindness unto, unto your Lord, even unto Saul, and have buried him. King David stayed loyal unto Saul even after his death. Mm-hmm. He didn't dare speak against the man. And this was a man that actually came and tried to kill King David. Tried to kill him. <laughs> Yeah. This man was going not, not only going off, he wanted to see he sought this man's life. 
Hey, I teach our apostles. Hey, the teachers they not they not in uh in San Fran trying to kill nobody, man, or kill kill any of these niggas for, uh, for that matter. Period, man. And the, and the fucking way y'all talk against these men, our teachers, man. All right, the men that were that, that hey, in your, even in your respective camps, you know, because all these all all the camps got people that was once among them. You know, a lot of the camps got people that was once among them that fell out, got kicked out, whatever. That, that scoff against them now. Me and that Jew once talked. Now they scoff against you. You were their master at one point. And they see all types. They like the Milwaukee niggas, man. Prime example. The greedy shit they fucking say, man. That's no. That's not loyal. That's no loyalty in that shit, man. And it's just to, to a man that was actually going off. Go ahead. Yeah. And it says, um, verse 7. No. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. And now, Yahweh show true kindness and truth unto you, and also will re requit you this kindness, because ye have done this thing. Therefore now let your hands be strengthened, and be ye valiant, for for your master Saul is dead, and also the house of Judah have anointed me king over them. But Abner, the son of Ner, captain of Saul's host, took Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, and brought him over to Mahanaim. 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 God. It's, <laughs> God. Like it says, um, verse nine, and made him king over Gilead, Gilead, and over the Asherites, and over Jezreel, Jezreel, and over Ephraim, and over Benjamin, and over all Israel. Ishbosheth's sons, so it's like Saul's son, was forty years old when he began to reign over Israel and reign two years. But the house of Judah followed David. Right. Now, that's what's supposed to happen when the king dies. His sons come to his stead. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and Abner honored that. Man, he put he placed his king over the rest of Israel at this moment. And he honored his master. That's what's supposed to happen. King David, you know, through the commandment of the Lord, went to the cities of Judah, the city he was told to go to, and he was only the king at that time over Judah. All right? Even though the Lord said that David will be king over all Israel. Abner didn't just let it go. Oh, no, yeah, he's king. He stayed loyal to his master's house. All right, you want to read more on this? Right, Matthias? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, because then you're going to miss the job. Go ahead. It says, um, verse 11. And the, and the time that David was king in Hebron over the house of Judah was seven years and six months. And Abner, the son of Ner, and the servants of Ishbosheth, Ish the son of Saul, went out of Mahanaim Mah 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 to Gibeon. And Joab, the son of Zeruiah, Zer Zeruiah, and the servant of David went out and met together by the pool of Gibeon, and they sat down. The one on the on the one side of the the one on the one side of the pool, and the other on the other side of the pool. Right. So basically, you got Abner, which was King Saul's right hand man, now King Ishbosheth's right hand man, or right, his captain, and then uh, you, you got Joab, which is the, the, basically the captain for. Uh, or the right hand man for King David. Yeah. All right, and then they had this poof sitting across from each other, and they, and they, they got they got their men with them. They got the army whips. They gonna go at it. Cause this time there's a split in Israel. It's two different kingdoms. Yeah. You know, and then before the camera was rolling, we had pre-read it, and you know what I'm saying. I'm like picture. Those uh, Chinese movies when two kung fu masters 
sip and they have tea one one with each other and have a, a little chat with their men right before they fight, you know, mm -hmm. to get a little visual. Because those Moabites strive to, to, to take our culture, you know. Go ahead, bro. It says, verse 14, And Abner said to Joab, Let the young men now rise mm -hmm. and play before us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> which means fight, man. Yeah. You know, arise and play. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. And Joab said, Let them arise. Then they arose <laughs> and went over by number 12 of Benjamin. Man, that deal was just mighty. But go ahead. It says, Then they arose and went over by number 12 of Benjamin, which pertained to Ish-Basheth, the son of Saul, and 12 of the servants of David. And they caught everyone his fellow by the head and thrust his sword in his fellow's side. So they fell down together Wherefore the place was called <laughs> Hakath Haz Hazurim, which is in Gibeon, and there was a very sore battle that day. And Abner was being, and the men of Israel, before the servants of David. And there were, verse 18, and there were three, kind of yeah. and there were three sons of. That was a gruesome ass battle, though, man. You know that. God, God. And there were three sons of Zeruiah, Zeruiah, there Joab and Abisha and Azahel. And Azahel was the light of, of foot as a, as a wild roe. And Azahel pursued after Abner, and in going he turned not the right hand nor to the left from following Abner. Then Abner looked behind him and said, Art thou Azel? And he answered, I am. And Abner said to him, Turn thee aside to thy right hand or to thy left, and lay thee hold on one of the young men and take thee his armor. But Azel would not turn aside from following of him. Hmm. And Abner said again to Azel, Turn thee aside from following me. Wherefore should I smite thee to the ground? How then should I hold up my face to Joab thy brother? Hey, Abner was honorable all around. He, was, he didn't even want to kill Joab's brother because Joab was a, a, a mighty man. He was King David's right hand man. Abner honored that. Israel was an honorable nation, man. You know. For, for, for the most part back then, man. Even the, even the goddamn wicked, uh, uh, what, the slacky, when um, the wicked, uh, the lady got killed, uh, I think it was Jezebel. It was Jezebel. After she got killed, the, uh, the, the, the man who took the throne, the king, he said, uh, all right, go bury her. She was a daughter of a prince. But then the dogs ate her. She wasn't there no more. But he said, go bear she was, she was she, she's a uh, daughter of Prince, man. They're supposed to have honor amongst Israel, man. You niggas scoffing against your masters, all right? Man, that's, that's technically your fathers. Spiritual fathers, man. That's dishonorable, man. All right? It, going against your master shows disloyalty. Not keeping the charges giving you definitely disobedient. Okay? And in and, and every fucking aspect of the word, man. Fucking treasonous traitors, man. Uh, yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Slot. This is verse 23. Howbeit he refused to turn aside, wherefore Abner, with the hinder end of, of the spear, smote him under the fifth rib, that the spear came out behind him, and he fell down there, and died in the same place. And it came to pass. Right, man. He kept telling him, man, be cool, man. Go on, man. You know? So fuck it. Go ahead. And it came to and it came to, to pass. And he like, and he died in the same place, and it came to pass that as many as came to the place where Azel 
fell down and died, stood still. Joab also and Abishai pursued after Abner, and the sun went and the sun went down when they were come to the hill of Amah, that that lies before Gaia by the way of the wilderness of Gibeon. And the children of Benjamin gathered themselves together after Abner and became one troop and stood, stood on the top of a hill. Then Abner called to Joab and said, Shall the sword devour forever? Knowest thou not that it, it will be bitterness in, in the latter end? How long shall it be then, ere thou, er thou, er thou bid the people return from following their brethren? Right. Go here. It says verse 27. And Joab said, As, as the Most High liveth, unless thou had, had it spoken, surely then in the, in the morning the people had gone up everyone from following his brother. So, so he was going to keep chasing his death until, you know, unless he said something, man. And they squashed and let it go. Because at the end of the day, both parties want the same thing, and that Israel. But Abner showing his loyalty to the house of Benjamin, not getting a command from the Lord, directly from the Lord saying, gear that shit up, you know, it's Davis, or just being wiped out at that time. Or is he going to fight for the house he belonged to? He, he, it's his master's house, which is King Saul's house. So he stayed loyal to the house, man. Mm -hmm. Now he knew that the Lord, the Lord was going to set King David to be king. Because King Saul said it anyway at the end of first Samuel. Alright, so it's no secret, but what's at what time was it meant to happen? He stayed loyal to his master's house. So we need to jump over to uh, chapter uh, three. Jump over to three and one. Yep. Three and one. Alright. This is second back to second Samuel chapter three, verse one. It says, now there was long, there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. And unto David were sons born in Hebron, and his firstborn was Am Ammon. And of we can just get done verse six. That was just what saying. Uh, verse six. It says. This is verse 6 says, And it came to pass, while there was war between the house of Saul and the house of David, that Abner made himself strong for the house of Saul. And Saul, it's like, Right, hey, that, that's the law. He, he made himself strong for the house of Saul. He improved himself in his skills because, hey, it was a battle to who get, who's going to rule over all Israel. Who's going to unite the, the, uh, the tribes together? Well, at least he wanted to keep, at least keep the... The, uh, Saul's son ruling until hey, the Lord made that made an official man either that death or uh, what, what was going to happen next, man. That's what his thought process was, man. To be loyal to that house, man. Go ahead. All right, verse to seven. be loyal to his master. Mm. All right. This is just an example of how deep loyalty really goes to 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 your masters. All right. Because oh, even after hearing his King Saul say that King David was going to truly be king, hey, Abner stuck to, well, I, I got to stay loyal to, to this house. To my master. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. This is verse 7. And Saul had a concubine whose name was Rizpa, the daughter of Aya and Ishbosheth. -ba said to Abner, Wherefore hast thou gone into my father's concubine? Then was Abner very wroth for the words of Ish Ishbiath, and said, Am I a dog's head, which against Judah do shew kindness this day unto the house of Saul, thy father, to his brethren, and to his friends, and have not delivered thee into the hand of David, that thou chargest me to Today, would they fault concerning this woman? Right. Because uh, he broke down law. Her, her husband died. 
She like, how you hold no fault to me? Look at look at how loyal I've been to this house. And my, uh, look how loyal I've been against Judah to show this kindness to, to this house of Saul. All right, to your father, because that was his master, man. Go ahead. So do so do power to Abner, and more also, except as Yahweh has sworn to David, even so I do to him. To translate the kingdom from the house of Saul and to set up, and to set up the throne of David over Israel and over Judah, from Dan, Dan even to Beersheba, and he could not answer Abner a word again, because he feared him. Hmm. Right. So he's like, look, if I don't, hey, if I don't get it, if you just house over to King David, if I don't give all the land of Israel to King David. Hey, 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 uh, made, made the most I deal with me severely is what he's saying, man. It made the Lord jack me up unless I, uh, if I don't fulfill these words. He basically swore. He's saying he's going to give Israel over to King David as the Lord said was going to happen anyway. That was the Lord's plan. The Lord allowed Abner to stay loyal to his master's house because shit, Abner's going to do it anyway. And then still get a kingdom over to King David. In the rightful manner, where there was no treason involved, man. All right, because King David was anointed to be king, man. There was no treason. He didn't take it upon himself to come against his master, to scoff against his master. All right, and then take his seat. Hmm. Now he's that guy. No. He stayed loyal to his master, and he stayed faithful to the to the spirit of Yahweh Shai and his order. Because again, King Saul was counted as what? Well, anointed, man. Because he was set up to be a king. This man was set up to talk to you in the name of the Heavenly Father and, and the Son, how why you have a shot. The fuck can you say to them, man? That's not the example we learned from them. It says, um, verse 12, And Abner sent messages to David on his behalf, saying, Who's it, Who is the land? Saying, Also, make, the, make thy league with me, and behold, my hand shall be with thee to bring about all Israel unto thee. And he said, Well, I will make a league with thee, but one thing I require of thee, that is, thou shalt not see my face, except Except thou first bring uh, Michal, Saul's daughter, when thou comest to see my face. Right. King David wanted what was his, man. Hmm. Which is only right. And David sent messages to Ishbosheth, Ishbosh, Saul's son, saying, Deliver me my wife Michal, which I espouse to me. For a hundred foreskins of the Philistines. And Ishbosheth sent and took her from her husband, even from Fathel, Fathel, the son of Laish. Laish. And her husband went with her, along weeping behind, behind her, to Bahurim. Bahurim. Then said Abner unto him, Go. Return, and he returned. You gotta visualize the scriptures too. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, that's a funny. That's a weird deal to me. He cried. He turned like, "Go, man!" He was scared. She right. took his ass home. That's Abner, man. He became mighty for the house of Saul. Right. And Abner had communication with the elders of Israel, saying, "Ye saw for David and times past to be kings over you." Now then do it, for Yahweh had spoken of David, saying, By the hand of my servant David I, I shall save my people Israel out of the hand of the Philistines, and out of the hand of the, all their enemies. And Abner also spake in the ears of Benjamin. Right, and so he went to his rounds, man. He made sure all the people understood that King David was going to be King David. Now the, the elders of Israel already understood that, man. That's what they wanted. 
but you have to go speak to his tribesmen, tribe Benjamin, like, I'm not committing treason or nothing. This is how the Lord set it up. Shit, this is what it's going to be. Hmm. You know, I, I fought for the house of Saul, but this is what it's got to be. You know, <laughs> shit, this is how it's supposed to be any damn way. Go ahead. And then, in verse 19, it says, And Abner also spake in the ears of Benjamin, and Abner went also to speak in the ears of David and Hebron, all that seemed good to Israel, and that seemed good to the whole house of Benjamin. So Abner came to David to Hebron, and twenty men with him. And David made Abner, this, and the men, so like, and David made Abner and the men that were with him a feast. All right, uh, hold right there. Now I'm going to take a look at Joab. Because remember, he killed Joab's brother. So let's look at the other side of the coin real quick on the house of David and his right hand man. We're going to see what, how he behaved himself according to in his house. Go ahead. It says, no, 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 Matthew, I mean, slack it. I got to go St. Matthew, man. <laughs> Chapter 5, uh, but the Tiger Slack. Um, so, so, in the past. This is um, 2 Samuel chapter 5, uh, verse 1. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto him. You were first, Samuel. Oh, okay, it's locked in. It's locked in. Wait. Oh, no, 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 I'm tripping. That was the second time. The second, the, the, you see the second Samuel. Oh, I don't know. I had a brain fart. It has to be, because it's Absalom. That happened after King David was king. I don't know how in my head it just got switched. It's locked in. It will be second seven in the film chapter. I had misplaced things because King David went on the run twice. I forgot this this is the opposite that happened when he was on the run with Saul. It is uh second seven five. So just keep reading uh United because it's gonna switch over itself. The war is set up perfectly. Okay. My dumb ass overthinking man. It says on um, verse 21, And Abner said unto David, I will arise and go, and will, will gather all Israel unto my, unto my Lord, my king, that they, may, that they may make a league with thee, and that thou mayest reign over all, all that thine heart desired. And David sent Abner away, and he went in peace. Verse 22, And behold, his servants of David and Joab came from pursuing a troop and brought a great pool, a great like a great spoil with a spoil with them. But Abner was not with David in Hebron, for he had sent him away, and he was gone in peace. When Joab and all the host that was with him were come, they told Joab, saying, Abner, the son of Ner, came to the king, and he had sent him away, and he is gone in peace. Then Joab came to the king and said, What thou hast done? Behold, Abner came unto thee. Why is that that thou hast sent him away, and he is quite gone? Thou knowest Abner, the son of Ner, that he came to deceive thee. And to know thy going out of thy coming in, to know all that thou doest. And when Joab came out from David, he sent messengers after Abner, which brought him again from the well of Syrah, which was like, but David knew it not. And when Abner was returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him quietly. Right, this is going to go into uh, the, the, the disobedience thing. Because at one point, Joab kept order, man. Joab didn't attack. Uh, 
He didn't text Shemai. All right, when he was coughing at King David. All right, but at this point in time, he, he acted off his emotions, man. He didn't keep order. All right, so a huge part of loyalty is keeping order. Not just sticking around, man. King Saul kept order. I'm um, sorry. Um, Abner kept order under King Saul in, in his house, man. He did what was right amongst those men. All right, so loyalty and obedience go hand to hand. And uh, Joab's going to be an example of that. Just being around and, and, and just looking out, ain't it, man? It's also about being and obeying. All right, being and obeying, man. You got a free stuff? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. You're not even okay, So I'm going to read. It says, and, then, and when Abner was returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him quietly and smote him there under the fifth ridge. That he died for the blood of Aziel, his brother. And afterwards, when David heard it, he said, I and my kingdom are, are guiltless before Yahweh forever from the blood of Abner to the son of Ner. Mm -hmm. Let it rest on the head of Joab and on his father's and, and on all his father's house. Mm -hmm. And let there not fail from the house of Joab one that has an issue or that is a leper. Leper. Salaka. Leper. And that leaneth on a staff or the falleth on the sword or that lacketh bread. Right. So he put a curse on him for that, man. He put a curse on him for that. Which lets you know that Abner's loyalty to King Saul didn't... Uh, didn't taint him, man. He still was kind of worthy enough to, to get uh, uh, vindicated after his death, man. Because mm -hmm. he put this curse on, on his own hands. Alright, on Joab. Go ahead. It says, So Joab and Abishad, his brother, slew Abner because he had slain their brother at as I held, as I held at Gibeon in the battle. And David said to Joab and to all the people that were with him, Rend your clothes and gird and gird with, with your sackcloth and mourn before Abner. And King David himself followed the, the bier. And they buried Abner in Hebron. And the king lifted up his voice and wept at the grave of Abner, and all the people wept. And the king laminated over Abner, and said, Thy, Died Abner as a fool dieth. Thy hands were not bound, nor thy feet put in, into fetters. As a man followed before wicked men, so fell his down. And all the people wept all, again over him, and when all the people came to cause David to eat, me. So that what happened, what Abner, uh, it's like what Job and his brother did, was counted his wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. So Abner was counted as innocent in, in, in this case of him being put to death. Go ahead. Okay. And when all the people came to cause David to eat meat while it was yet day, David swore, saying, "So do, so do thy power to me, and more also if I taste bread." Or out, or out else, to the sun be down. And all the people took notice of it, and it pleased them, as whatsoever the king did pleased all the people. And for all the people and all Israel understood that day that it was not of the king to slay Abner the son of Ner. And the king and the king said unto the servants, Know ye not that that there is a prince and a great man. Of Fallen this day in, in Israel, mm. and I am the and I am this day weak through anointed through anointed Dove. king Dove. Uh, though anointed thou though anointed king, and these men the sons of Zeru I be too hard for me. Yahweh shall reward the doer of evil according to his wickedness. All right, so Abner was counted as a, a prince and a great man. Mm -hmm. All right, a 
Prince and a great man. He had a that show, show great loyalty, man. And now as a King David, that's a high ass son, you know. <laughs> so he was made weak, man. Anointed king and made weak, man. Alright, so that shows the loyalty that that's required to be in this thing, man. Okay? And obedience and loyalty go hand to hand. Because for one, why did King Saul even lose the kingdom? This obedience, man. Okay? Uh, now, let's just get this. Uh, yeah, keep, um, yeah, I got it. This is uh, <laughs> Second Samuel 18. Can you get the part where um, King David told uh, Solomon before he died to get Joab? You know what I'm saying? Okay, kind of. And the dude that cursed him, you know. But this is 2 Samuel 18 and um, verse 9. You know, we're going to jump ahead to uh, when Absalom, King David's uh, son, you know, tried to, uh, he rebelled, rebellious ass. You know, he, he rebelled against his father and tried to use up the throne. But this is verse uh, 2 Samuel 18 and 9. And Absalom met the servants of David. And Absalom rode upon a mule. And the mule went under the thick boles of a great oak. And his head caught hold of the oak. And he was taken up between the heaven and the earth. And the mule that was under him went away. Wait, didn't King David tell him, no, it, uh, before this happened, didn't it come up and, that he shouldn't kill Absalom? I did he, he met yeah, well. he, yeah, he met him, or he told him he should kill Absalom, King David told him no. But, uh, yeah, because I know verse 12 was going to say that uh, he wasn't supposed to do it. But it might be another one. Well, go ahead, no, that's cool. That, that's good, no, that, that can be. It said, um, uh, it said uh, he got caught in the oak. His head got caught. You know, he had an afro when you read earlier. He pulled his head once a year, you know. So he had a nice little afro and he got caught in the branches. It said, uh, and a certain man saw it and told Joab and said, Behold, I saw Absalom hanged in an oak. And Joab said unto the man that told him, and behold, thou sawest him, and why did it? And why didst thou not smite him? Therefore, to the ground. And why would have? And I would have given thee ten shekels of silver and a girdle. And the man said unto Joab, Though I should receive a thousand sil shekels of silver in my hand, yet would I not put forth my hand against the king's son. For in our hearing. The king charged thee and Abishai and Etai, saying, Beware that none touch the young man Absalom. So here goes loyalty from this man right here. Mm -hmm. All right, and disobedience and disloyalty from uh, Joab. <laughs> well, All right, and that's and that's these fucking niggas, man. Said it's doing the work. You want to? You want to? Uh, Get to go against your elders, man. And, and kill the elder son. <laughs> Alright, the rest of the, the flock of GMS, man. Go ahead. It says, Otherwise I should have brought falsehood against my own life. For there is no matter hid from the king, and thou thyself would have set thyself against me. <laughs> God. Right, you know. He to killed him and then he to, well, uh, Joe that bitch ass him killed him. Like, yeah, I don't know why he did that, King. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch ass. Verse 14. Then said Joab, I may not tarry thus with thee. And he took three darts in his hand and thrust them through the heart of Absalom while he was yet alive in the midst of the oak. And ten young men that bear Joab's armor compassed about and smote Absalom and slew him. So I'm going to jump down. Um, where's he block? 
in this bitch ass life. Just thinking about uh, another point we forgot to me mention. To show how King David honored uh, King Saul was when Doeg came and said that he uh, he was the one that slew King Saul. He lied, said he slew King Saul, thinking that they would please King David. King David killed him for that shit, man. All right, it's a simple. You wasn't afraid to touch the Lord's anointed. Right? He killed his ass. All right, so honor, loyalty, obedience, all right, is also a big part of this thing, man. Should just check them up to this sit down. <laughs> it got to be a big part, man. All right, it's part of having integrity, man. It's part of being honorable. All right, yeah, so Rock tells you in so many words to do the same uh, concerning your father. Which these men are spiritual fathers. They're your master. They also count as what? Your father. Alright, but um it tells you even uh, be patient with them if they if they're understanding fellow in their age. Alright. So there's no way here he's supposed to get on men that once well shit, that woke you up and and and, and, and Gave you such great knowledge and insight, man. Especially the name of Heavenly Father. You found the punch of the pool? No, it's not cool. Huh? No, it's cool. What's the. That's fucked up. Uh. United. First Kings 2. I'm trying to find out. What was that second? Samuel 16? I thought you. The whole world. You was in 2nd Samuel 16? 18? You told me what I was in? Yeah. I wasn't in nothing. Bro, you was just reading. Eight seconds. Absalom? What chapter was it? Yeah, it was 18. Let me start at one now. First Kings? Yeah. Come on. All right, it's First Kings chapter 2. It says, Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of, the, of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show, show, show thyself a man, and keep, the, and keep the charge of Yahweh, that power to walk in in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself, that Yahweh may continue his word which he has he which he spake concerning me, saying, If thy children take heed to their way, to walk before me in the truth with all their heart and with all their soul, therefore shall not fail thee. It's like, it says, there, there shall not fail thee, said he, a man on the throne of Israel. Verse 5. Moreover, Thou knowest also that Joab the son of Zeruiah did to me, and, and what he did to the two captains of the host of Israel, unto Abner the son of Ner, and unto Amasa the son of the son of, of Jether, whom he slew and shed the blood of war and peace, and put the blood of war upon the the girdle that was about his his loins and on his shoes that were on his feet. Do therefore according to thy wisdom, and let not the the whore head head go down to the grave in peace. 
but show, show kindness unto the sons of of Barzillai, the, the Gilead, the Gilead, Gilead. Right, that was, you already read about uh, uh, Joab. The, the, read that verse over about Joab. Okay. I was reading the other thing. chase after King David to kill him. And King David just took, took it as it was, man. And felt bad for him attaching his skirts. Alright, all right, now that's honorable. To, hey, in fact, that's that's what Peter was talking about. Are you getting Peter's love? Uh, that's what's honorable. Uh, suffer reproach. You suffer wrongfully. That was good? Mm -hmm. That's fucking bugged out. <laughs> well, I mean, not really, but right. it's really <laughs> it's very cold. Yeah. Damn. That's what was going to already? Yeah, I was looking for it. This is First Peter chapter two, verse seventeen. It says, "Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the Most High." Honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear. With all fear, man. With all fear. All right, fear towards your masters because of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. All right, like I said, it's not what I service. Go ahead. This is not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. But this is thankworthy. If a man for conscience towards towards the most high and their grief, suffering wrongfully. Alright, suffering wrongfully, man. That's what's think worthy. That's what makes you you honorable, man. So if you're a subordinate, man, you just gotta just, just take it, man. And these men are on point, so it's not even nothing to deal with. Alright, man, if you cancel out and they get on your ass, man, guess what? You gotta take it. That's your judgment for that moment. All right, man, it's not even the forward men. Shit, they, they, they ain't trying to kill your ass. And King David took it, man. King Saul was trying to kill him, and King David took it. All right. Go, uh, go ahead, one more verse. It says, verse 20, For what 
glory is it when ye be uh, uh, buffeted. buffeted for your faults? Ye shall take it patiently. But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the Most High. Exactly. That's acceptable with the Heavenly Father. That's what's honorable in his eyes, man. Hmm. All right, being able to take some shit, man. Motherfucker always got to justify yourself. Now, for one, we, we, we fucking, fucking deserve death. Hmm. All right, it's like King David took shit from Shemite. All right, but these are the actual root masters over, over these men, man. Talk them all this good. How can they work evil for that? Wasn't even getting on you, man. Just, just keep teaching shit. And that would have been that. And that's still what it is, man. What else? Point is, at this point, that treason's been committed. And that's why the scriptures call it blasphemy the Holy uh, the, uh, the gospel. Mm -hmm. Get that. Second yeah, I think it's like 6. Yeah, 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 yeah. 1, right? Yeah, 1st Timothy 6 and 1. 1st Timothy 6 and 1. Got it? Yeah. I can read it. That's your own reading. Yeah, I read it. Uh, this is 1st uh, Timothy 6 and 1. Let as many servants that are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. That the name of the Most High and His doctrine be not blasphemed. Exactly. It's that simple, man. It's that simple, man. Some shit you just don't fucking do. Alright? Some shit you just don't fucking do. Alright. So, you got anything else? Kind of, I got, um, Cause this, this is how you're supposed to. This is a uh, first Peter five and just start to talk. It says, "The elders which are among you, I exhort, letting you know his order amongst this, who who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the Most High." Jeremiah three fifteen, right? Mm -hmm. Isaiah thirty. Your 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 teachers. Continue down in things thou that thou hast learned. They're continuing to feed us, you know. Taking the oversight thereof, they have the oversight, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. And they and they do it readily, happily. Neither as being lords over the Most High's heritage, but being examples to the flock, even when they're amongst us, you know? They don't be like they, you know, high and mighty amongst us, they brothers amongst us, man. Examples, like I said. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, let you know that there are more than one shepherd. You know, Yahweh is the chief shepherd, and there are more shepherds that's guiding the sheep. The Lord said he would set up shepherds in Jeremiah. Uh, John 10, all right, these guys love to fucking butcher my sheep with him, my voice. And John 10, it says, those sheep that follow became shepherds. Go ahead. It says... Um, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory that shall fade and not away. Likewise, the younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Submit, man. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have a good grasp on what submission is. Hey, just think of <laughs> submit. When somebody puts you on submission, hey, that's being low, man, at the ground. Shit, you get a, a, a crippled cross face. <laughs> that was, you know, in strikes. You want strikes, man. Damn. That's what it means to be subjected to somebody, man. Whether it's good or bad, you gotta fucking take it. 
What did Job say? All right, by us being in subject to the Heavenly Father, he said what? So I would receive the good, the hands of the Heavenly Father, not the bad. That's yeah. being in submission, man. Taking whatever comes with it. Don't the good with the bad. And uh -huh. staying your ass in fucking order. Yeah. That's submission, man. He said, though he slay me, yet will I maintain yet will I maintain my trust in him. That's right. You know? And how you keep that trust in him by staying in order, staying in the course. And how did King David show that? <laughs> Alright, he didn't come he didn't kill Saul. The Lord allowed the window to be there. And that was to try him. Alright? He allowed that window to be there. And he said, the Lord will judge between me and you, man. The Lord will fix it. Mm -hmm. That's faith, man. And that's the example our apostles set before us. They went through that reign of terror, man. You know? Took what they had to take, what, took whatever they had to take. And to, to hell. They got casted out and then they did their own thing, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashan and Yahweh Shai. Alright? And, that, that, and that's loyalty, man. And that's honorable, man. Alright? These niggas are fucking traitors, man. Committed treason. That was more? First Peter four, second Peter four. In the last days, traitors had these high minded. Damn, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, first Peter five and five. It says, Likewise ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for the most high resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Come, come. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, under His order. How are you under His hand? Right, because it says submit to the to the elder, come. and that's all. That's that all flows together. That He may exalt you in due time, casting. Right, seek not the preeminence, man. Come, command trees so you can get the king seat. Hey, man, you will get it when you will get exalted when the time is right. All right, uh, before honest humility, uh, it's humility. Before, before honor comes humility. Right, okay, stop. Uh, All right, go ahead. It says, um, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High. The word humble goes back to ground, man. Humble, humble. Mm -hmm. Ground, man. Go ahead. That he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him. Casting all your care upon him. That's just what King David said, man. Let the Lord judge between me and me. All right, the Lord is fighting our battles, man. And we ain't got to go out there and justify ourselves. We ain't got to go out there and uh, death no fucking commit no treason against the fucking man that taught you, your, your masters, man. All right? Whether your spiritual father, uh, um, Miss slips in his understanding, or if you just butt hurt, man, and you don't fucking do it. And it says a wise man is fearing all things. And you should fear that maybe you being emotional about it, alright? And you should fear the fact that your spiritual father, you shouldn't come at them that way. If you have true fear towards your heart, watching your shine, and you would have thought about it in multiple ways, then you checked your fucking self. All right, hey, but a hey, wickedness shall show uh, itself as wicked, man. That's basically that's the old proverb, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, man, <laughs> it says, um, verse seven again, First Peter five seven. Hey, another point. Joe way up there, we thought was right when he killed Absalom. And I was fucking wrong. He thought he was dead when it was right when he killed Abner. He thought Abner was trying to treat the king. Hmm. Alright, just because you think something is fucking right. Hey, and technically Absalom did go off according to the law. The law did say it's supposed to be put to death. But the king chose to show mercy. The king, the master, chose to show mercy. That mercy was supposed to be established and allowed. Alright? And that's so... Basically, the Avengers doing a bunch of Absalom shit. It, the, the, the whole lot of them. Scoffing. Oh, this is to respect the persons. Why did this man get to stay when he did this and that? Hey, man, because the king got to say uh, he, he, he can have mercy. You should accept it off for face value with that. It 
says, um, casting, casting all your care upon him. Yeah. So like, they just go off the king. Yeah, pops for one. We, we all got them kings, idiots. Did you know that? And Apostle Hart on this earth right now is the top king. Mm -hmm. All right? And before you got to get simple, right? And, and before Israel had a king, they had judges. The judges was as the king of Israel. Moses was the judge of Israel. He was called what? The first king over Israel, technically. All right? King over Jeshurun. Okay? Go ahead. It says... Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be diligent, be diligent. Be vigilant. Vigilant, like you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So if you always take the load, the humble road, man, by right, fearing all things, you you wouldn't fall into to shit like that. Satan wouldn't get to tempt you like that, because right now. And Satan got y'all under that motherfucking machine he cursed, man. He got y'all under that spell. Alright? So to you brothers that's still in the right mind, and you gotta you gotta have that mindset, man. H have that honor, man. You want to be a, a man of honor, man. A man of character. Okay. A man of complete integrity. Okay. Integrity. <laughs> in fact, uh, you're not here. Ecclesiastes. Can't finish this up. Verse nine. It says, "Whom resist steadfast in the faith, mm -hmm. knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world." So you gotta take. You gotta take. All right. Cast all your cares upon the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe and fucking always think. Maybe you can be the fucking wrong one in, in this case. Or maybe you deserve what you're going going through at that time. Right? Resist the devil, he shall flee, man. It says, But the most high of all grace, who have has called us into his eternal glory, by our shine, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. You know? Continue thou in the things that thou hast learned, and assure of whom thou hast learned. Um, I never told you the chapter, right? Chapter 10, maybe. Um, a name in Ecclesiastes. Um, a uh, name is finding the precious gold. And that's a rough Ecclesiastes. I think it's a 10th chapter. I'm going to read this 2 Timothy 3 while you try to find out. Okay. All right, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, for really as time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. So it goes hand in hand. Because disobedient to parents, unthankful. Hey, man. Hey, whatever you fucking feel about the apostles right now, man. You still got 95% of it from them. The spirit was on them to give you that much. So if you really feel that you learned from Yahweh Shai, you will still have to give the credit that Yahweh Shai used those men to get 95% of what you got right. Because apparently the fact you changed, they had wrong. So whatever, how you fucking feel. So that should be honored, honored, uh, that should be honored in itself right there. Hey, this man that taught us, like uh, me personally taught myself, you know, that was above me uh, and rank, led by certain examples, did certain things. I didn't talk about just one person, talking about a couple actually in my head. And, it, and, it, and it's nothing I fucking say against them, man, ever. You know? The spirit of him, how he, how he feels, the same as fit. Yeah, I may feel a certain way about certain things, but shit, hey, that's what it is. They, they, the Lord will fix all of that, man. They, 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 whether he bring them back, 
get them right or not. It's not my fucking place. It's not my concern, man. If you love your father, you see your father going off there, you will hope that he get his ass right. And that's the thing. Y'all don't have no love, man. Um, unholy, without natural affection, y'all don't have no love, man. Damn, truth breakers, yeah. false accusers. And that, that explains all you niggas, man. Niggards. Every last one of y'all, man. Come. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers. <laughs> hey, if they ain't got a story, they'll make one. Hmm. Drake. Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. All of these is, a lot of these is one type of nigga, and these are all different types of people, though. Yep. You know? It sums them all up. Mm -hmm. They all they all fall into all of these. They all got their different shit, but all of these are involved in it. Basically, underlying underlying factors, man, in one way, shape, or another, man. Mm -hmm. um, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the Most High. All right, fucking traitors, man. A betrayer, man. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. <sighs> hey. All right. Having a form mm -hmm. of godliness, but denying the power thereof. How do you deny the power? You deny the structure that's set up. <laughs> How do you deny the power of the most high? There ain't no governments. Mm -hmm. The apostles raped three year old girls. The GMS, all they do is buy liquor and fucking prostitutes. <laughs> they bums. But they send all their tight money to the apostles. They, they're they both. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck. You guys don't have no honor, man. You're gonna have a bad name for that. You got a mm -hmm. fucking foul blot to your name. You found the precept? That's a, it's a please it's a HR. Is it eight? Hey, but that's how you know they the same motherfuckers who came against you our shot. You know. Cause he said as uh John the Baptist came not eating and drinking. Mm -hmm. They said he had a devil. He came eating and drinking. They say he had a devil. You can't please these niggas, man. Oh. They gonna say they <laughs> So bugged out. It's seven and one. Duh. I don't know how. It is. I thought. I don't. I don't know if I thought. Eight, 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 eight. Told me seven yeah. two. Yeah. Well, I just so read your piece. Yeah. He said seven verse one. It says a good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the than the day of one's birth. All right. So a good name, man, is better than what? It's better than precious ointment. Precious ointment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So being honorable. All right, showing some form of loyalty, okay, it's a big thing and it's true, man. That's a part of integrity, okay? Anything else, brothers? Mm -hmm. Okay, with that, all praises out of glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Double Honors, the Apostles. So I tell you, brothers, doing this thing sincerely and truth and with charity. All right, preaching this word directly so, and correctly. Uh, and selected for the length of those who make it all the way through. <laughs> so, um.